the second level in the incremental progression for the patellar tendon is concentric action. Concentric action is when the patellar tendon has to shorten. And for the, for the patellar tendon, it aids in extending that knee. So we're going to start in open chain, which means the foot isn't on the ground, so it's more isolated activities, and then move to closed chain, where the foot is connected to something and it's on the ground. And step one here is just a leg extension. And I start with resistance, so I have a band tied behind me. And you're literally just coming up into resistance and coming back down, back into resistance and coming back down. Now, as that gets easy, I'm going to suggest doing do 15 reps for three sets. As this gets easy, you can move over to the leg extension machine and really for focus on this. And for now, I want you just to focus on this and bring it back quickly. Bring it back quickly. Bring it back quickly. So we're, we're working that extensor mechanism of the leg, a big part of which is the patellar tendon. The second step in the concentric loading of the patellar tendon is closed chain. We're going to start with two-legged sit-ups. So literally have your feet here, stand up, and then just sit and just flop back down. Sit up, flop back down. Sit up, and flop back down. And do that for 15 reps for three sets. The third and final step of concentric loading is a single leg get up. So you're going to have to be on one leg, stand up, and then sit down quickly. Stand up, and then flop down. Stand up, and then flop down. The reason I'm having you get down quickly is because right now I just want to focus on the concentric aspect. The coming down part, if you do it slowly, puts a huge, what is called an eccentric lengthening load on the patella. And that's a higher load than concentric.